little known law fact. If you dress ostentatiously enough and you have the charisma, you can just wag your finger at the judge. They can't stop you. We jump into our first trial day of turnabout goodbyes, putting Edgeworth in the defendant's seat. A weird side of the courtroom he's never seen before. Can we do it? I don't know. I hope so. But I'm a little stressed. Not gonna lie. Dun, dun. December 26th, the day after Christmas at 9.44 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. <laughs> Karma? I'm still not used to him. The front That's two. right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. Again, we have the same win score right now, so I gotta say, my stats look pretty good still. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god! Your stats are nothing compared to his deific status. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. And when I'm saying that, you know I mean anything. Hmm. Uh, I, I still can't get over this angle. That angle is beautiful. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Like, Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. Hello? <sighs> That's quite the claim coming from who, someone who forges evidence. That's copium, He's just gonna right? break out a gun in the middle of court. Oh, no. <laughs> he taught me what it really means to prosecute. I learned all my techniques and secrets from him. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Oh, oh, too powerful. How hot is he, though? That's the real intimidation factor. Considering he taught Edgeworth, I I'm thinking he's up there in years. He's Yeah, he's very old. Hey, Edgeworth has gray hair. Edgeworth's just saying, Phoenix, he's not your type. All right, fine. That, that means I'm less intimidated, if I'm being honest. <laughs> So, so he was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! What a creep indeed. Oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Yeah, uh, something about his wouldn't, win wouldn't stats that be a perfect world? makes me think that that is very much not the case. Not a chance. Edgeworth agrees. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years? Maya, that's like twice as old as you've been alive, plus an additional extra year. He's as ruthless as me times 20. Oh, times 10, times 20. Pick a number, Edgeworth. I said he was 10 times as vicious as but ruthlessness, a separate metric <laughs> I assure you, right? He's 20 <laughs> times more ruthless than I am. Roll for ruthlessness. <laughs> that's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god amongst prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, uh, Maya? Uh-huh? We could, uh, really be using Mia's help right now, uh, don't you think? Oh. Right, what are you doing? Phoenix, Phoenix, this is, this is a bit of a- Don't, I don't, don't question it! Me. I can't, sorry. I tried, I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. Oh, that waterfall conundrum again. Mm. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. Terrible timing, actually. The worst timing possible. I'm really sorry. No need uh, to lay it on uh, so uh, thick. You know, sorry isn't, isn't meaning anything, but Edgeworth might literally be killed because he killed a man. I'll try my best. All right, I, I hope so, but you didn't go to law school unlike Mia did, so, you know, mm. What are you hey, whispering? Hey, I've been helping you through these last two cases, man. Shh, shh, shh. Nothing, Edgeworth. Everything is great. Everything is grand. Oh, We're fine. that was oh. whispering? It's nothing. It's nothing. Well, uh, it's time. Let's head in. I'll stay well, If you guys were whispering about something like a continuation motion, you could certainly file one. Is that what you were saying? Yes. Uh, um... <laughs> if only they spoke up. <laughs> dun, dun. December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The oh, how the mighty have fallen. But no, 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 the defense is ready, your honor. Jesus Christ. Uh, what even is he? I can't even tell. <clears throat> Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I wouldn't stand here but I not completely prepared? <laughs> My apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Ugh. I feel like the judge scares easily. <laughs> he definitely does. Very well. Your opening statement, please. Hmm. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? A statement? Ah, uh, er, I mean, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? 
Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? Crackpot! <laughs> You're supposed uh. to dress all ridiculous. I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. He's got a bit of a record on these things. Describes the incident now! <laughs> I, uh, 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 yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. Oh, we get a map. Oh. Mm. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around mid- As you can see by this map, it's Christmas Eve. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. That's not the very middle of the lake, Gumshoe. Okay, shut up. Uh, <laughs> there were two men on the boat in the middle of the lake, which is right up here in the top left corner. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. Where she's not supposed to be. At 12.10 a.m., she had two pistol shot. <gasps> two! I think it's high quality that Edgeworth uh, was self-defense. He got shot at, missed, shot back. Then the boat started him. It went towards the boat rental shop. Okay, makes sense. Hmm. Testified to, to the court about the arrest. Now! Wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yeah? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. <laughs> Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. Waggled his finger at the judge. He said, no, 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 judge. Now we know where Edgeworth gets it from. I believe in German it's 999. Oh, God. Right. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Yes, of course. You're quite right. This quite. would never fly in quite court. Right. This would never fly in actual court. The judges would not, not stand for yeah. this. At all. Yeah, we, we have dove purely into fiction territory. Oh god, indeed. Actually, <laughs> little known law fact, if you dress ostentatiously enough and you have the charisma, you can just wag your finger at the judge, they can't stop you. No, he's not! <laughs> oh, we're already on this part, Jesus. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! Uh, I, I have a name! I feel like Von Karma would have done better uh, being a judge instead of a prosecutor all this time. You received a call from a man. Yeah, that's sus. Uh, yep. I mean, I don't want to assume it's gender, but like... But you said there was a woman that was camping there, not a man. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Objection. That woman and uh, man who called in the report are di two different people, obviously. I wasn't asking you, I was asking Gumshoe. And second of all, did you all hear the actual in-game voice line of him saying objection? It no. shook at me. It was like, OBJECTION! Oh <laughs> my god. I got ever. turned up my volume I, on I that. I could end. not. I was dying. Okay. Different people? There were zwei witnesses? <clears throat> Their testimonies were quite similar. However, today I've summoned the woman who was camping. Woman who was camping. A lot of hearts. What happened next, detective? We ended the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Oh, good question, Phoenix. Uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. It's the same objective. The motto is just different every <laughs> month. <laughs> get there quick. Be speedy. Short reaction time. Fast server. I'm Holy Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. What? Huh? Uh, um, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Our motto is very secretive. I, I apologize. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Oh, my God. Oh, this guy. Dirty. So much to look forward to these. So sad. Oh, no, no, no. You you don't do that to poor Gumshoe. You won't get away with that. This is not time for Detective Dre Daydreaming, Detective. Continue. Uh, y y yes, sir. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him there? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all. Really? Mm. Objection. Detective. The court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Cold, hard, objective fact. Yeah, yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. Are those, like, valid things in court that you would, like, talk about? So, generally speaking, a witness is only allowed to testify to facts, not opinion. And you yes. are able to object to any witness who's giving opinion testimony. If you're an expert, there's an exception there. Yes. But there's another exception. And that's if you're making a fact statement, but you're taking it in the form of an opinion. Like, for example, this guy looked tired. Well, that's your opinion, but it's based on his bags under his eyes, etc. Mm. 
That's really you stating fact. And so him saying he didn't look like a murderer at all, that's a little bit too spurious. I don't know what that means. So yeah. I would have actually objected in real life. But if he was drunk or tired, like that kind of thing. Because it can be backed up by evidence. Exactly. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know! We have a deep, trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Oh my god, I was so- <laughs> Did you hear him? Did you hear him? I did! Time? What it's the- so <laughs> Isn't it epic? It is, like, not the voice I expected to come out of this man in any What's way, really shape, funny is, form. I've gone for, like, a flamboyant version because of his outfit, but- like, this is the deepest voice possible. I'm like, Detective, the court isn't interested in your musing. And the game's like, Detective, the court isn't interested at all. Deep and trusting? Bobbycock! Mm, no, no. I've never heard so many stupid comments from an active detective on the force. Oh, uh, no, 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 your honor. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think oh. so. Oh, oh, oh. Just, just, just. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue! Now! What? The next morning, a body was found in the lake. Hold it! Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. Two shots, one bullet. Gotta think that in our brain. Two shots, one bullet. <laughs> He was shot through the heart, fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. That's interesting, because that seems like it's like a very precise shot, like a good marksman did it. You know, it mm. didn't strike bone straight through the heart. There's a lot of chest in the way that, you know, there's a lot of bone. I will say. A like twenty-two it. caliber pistol is like one of the smallest possible calibers, so it would have had to been like a perfect shot. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like this is like a marksman. This is not like some or random lucky. dude. Incredibly lucky, though. Like, not statistically, you know. One could say I shot in the dark, right? Oh my god. So we had to arrest Mr. Ed. What? Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. Murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please, revise your testimony. At this point, I'm just used to it. All uh, right, so sorry, Your Honor. All right, well, I'm gonna press the new stuff now. Hold it, what about the pistol made it decisive evidence? <coughs> uh, he has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> there were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Uh, <laughs> What I mean by that is not me. Like, I'm his right hand, but it was his <laughs> fingerprint. <laughs> what? Order, order! So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Well, that seems open and shut to me. <laughs> no. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accepted into evidence. All right, it's the same size. Okay, interesting. We heard Fired two shots. Three times. There's one shot in the body, and it was fired three times. So Very three shots fired, two heard, one recovered. And it's on his right hand. Mm -hmm. Is Edgeworth a righty or a lefty? Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Snap, detective. Uh, yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Mm. It's a mind cross-examination here. Hey, Nick, what does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. You're mean. Nick, he's glaring at me. Very well, I shall explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. <laughs> You've been taking over this entire court proceedings, and I'm uh, like, no, 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 I'm too good for this right now. Uh, me? Um, 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 ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. In real life, those have been debunked. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, for a while they curious. were considered to be decisive evidence, like it's perfect, but there has been scientific studies that question the validity of the experiment. And so to my knowledge, they're not proof beyond a reasonable doubt just by themselves. It's not an exact science like we were led to believe. And so more than one oh. different type of gun can leave the same quote unquote fingerprint in like a very similar way. Not Indeed. <laughs> this leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. Was it though? 
this little witch, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprint. I'm definitely feeling like a like a setup, you know? Like mm. like I don't know. All of this being like way too straight laced almost, right? Way too clean cut. We found the bullet. The bullets from this gun. We found this gun. This gun had epic, uh, you know, fingerprints on it. All I can think of is Mr. something right. huge. There's nothing nasty about the cold hard facts, Your Honor. If they are indeed true. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. You can catch us recording these sessions live on Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe below if you like terrible parkour and even worse voice acting. See you, See next, you next time. time.